What's up guys, welcome back to Unobtainables, and in this series we go ahead and look at the unobtainable weapons inside of Borderlands the pre-sequel, and when I say unobtainable, I mean currently unobtainable, as in back when this video was made, December 4th, 2014. Guys, this is a script at this point. <laughs> it really is. Back... <laughs> In December 4th, 2014, this gun was completely unobtainable. The only way to get it was through Gibbs Save Editor. If you say you have it, you don't have it legitimately. If you think you do, you were either lied to or you're lying to us. So, now that that's out of the way, I am most positive that all of these guns will be released sometime in the future. Not sure when some of these need to be padded, like this gun needs to be padded because it just doesn't drop from its intended drop, and this is the bad touch. And the bad touch it drops from, if you're in normal mode, his name is Swagman. If you are in true alternate mode, his name is Outcast. And in the code, his name is the Wasteland Lunar Walker. At least I'm pretty sure. Um, you may have heard of that, that code name before. It went around a little bit and people were looking for him. And I kind of figured he was who he was and whatever. Uh, he's supposed to drop a lot of stuff. However, he doesn't drop any of it. His uh, drops are all messed up. Don't know why. Don't know how they could mess that up. If it's on purpose, why? But I really doubt it is. But, um, yes, one of his drops is the Bad Tud. But since the Bad Tud is apparently uh, listed as a regular purple SMG and not a unique purple SMG, it will not drop. So, you can't get it. And that kind of sucks because you could get two, well, not... Well, you could farm three bad touches off of them and put them in the grinder to get a good touch. But the rarities are all messed up, so I don't know if that'll even work. And uh, that's pretty much what you'd want to do, because the like, bad touch in this game, I'll be completely honest, the bad touch in this game is bad. Exactly what its name says, it is bad. And Borderlands 2 was a great corrosive SMG that everybody got through their like playthroughs since it was easily obtained. Now it's unobtainable, so. Back then in Borderlands 2, you could just buy it from Moxie once per playthrough, and uh, you could it could carry you a good way. You'd probably like buy it around like when the loaders start getting heavy. But in this game, the thing is, uh, even though corrosion isn't resisted by flesh anymore, it is uh, still only like I guess you could say super effective. I love saying super effective. It is only super effective against armored enemies, and in the pre sequel, there are next to no armored enemies. There are a few, it, like, and they're far in between, I promise you. So there's really no point in running corrosive SMG. Just run a fire SMG and, like, keep, like, I don't know, like a, uh, a completely neutral element in the back, like, you know, explosive or, like, electric. Keep that in your back pocket and use that in the armored enemies. Or, if you think uh, you're doing enough damage, you wouldn't use the fire weapon on that enemy. I use fire weapons on armored enemies all the time because I can p pump out enough damage with it. To kill them, at least most of the time. But that's because, you know, Maelstrom stacks on Athena it are pretty crazy. But Maelstrom stacks don't really help this gun since they're only really affected by fire and electricity. But if you can get the stacks up, then you can make this gun somewhat useful. However, it's just not that good of a gun. It is bad in this game. There's really no reason to run corrosive weaponry in this game at all. Because there's no armored enemies, guys. There's really none. Like... Where is the, where are all the loaders? Like, I know we're obviously not going to fight loaders, but still, I think there's been, there should have been, like, some new enemy type, like, I don't know, like, robo doll troopers, like, robo lost legion commando things, I don't know. I don't know, there should have been something, so corrosion isn't just, like, a terrible element that nobody wants to use anymore, because that's pretty much what it is. Uh, it's, like, slag before UVHM came out, so, yeah. It kind of makes me sad because the there's really no reason to run the bad touch anymore. It was a great SMG back then. It's not really so good right now. And when it is obtainable, whenever they make it so it can drop, I just recommend getting the three and making a good touch because the good touch is fantastic, especially on an elemental Athena. But bad touch, not so much. It's something where if you see the lunar lock, the, the lunar locker, the lunar locker, if you see the outcast or the swagman walking around, kill him, get it, and uh, it'll help you out through your playthrough, I guess. But it's really, you know, it's really not worth much, guys. It's not worth much. Uh, one of the unobtainables that is really not worth much. Pretty much all the other unobtainables are worth picking up. But this one, not so much. I'm sorry, Bad Touch. I hate to see you fall so short in this game. But I guess that's what the moon does to you. The moon just doesn't have enough armored enemies to make corrosion viable. There's a few bosses, of course. 
but there are better cursive weaponry that you could get as well. So, but anyway, uh, that's that's the bad title, you guys. That's the bad title. You all know the bad title. Um, pretty much everything in this series is stuff you guys know about, and I don't think it's really changed in any way. Besides the skin, they keep plastering. Like I think every Moxie weapon they took the Moxie symbol just plastered it throughout the entire gun. It just doesn't look good. It looked okay on the good touch, but on the bad touch, it's a no-go. It stands out too much. It doesn't fade in like it did in the good touch because, you know, the pink to red thing, you know. But whatever. Whatever. That's the only difference between Borderlands 2 and Borderlands, uh, the pre-sequel bad touch. Is the skin. It's not even that good. But anyway. Uh, this is one where the only reason, again, that I want to see a drop is because I want to get touched really, really bad. But that's the only reason, so. That's it, guys. That's it. I want to thank y'all for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys later.